All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna do new game. We're gonna put it right in this slot because. Oh my god, this is so loud for me. We're gonna put it at 40. There we go. All right, uh, we're gonna do difficulty easy. Because I am dumb babby gamer, so we will do this. Dumb babby gamer. In the far off year of 2032. This will be one of those games that we go back to in 2032 and we're like, oh, look how far from reality this is. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Except my alarm did that this morning. It didn't address me by name, but it was like, it was like April 13th, 930 AM and played a loud noise and... <laughs> Burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. Jam. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Go. Oh. Uh, excerpt from a book on the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence by Dr. Robert James the Third. Uh, consider uh consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun many of them are uh, many of them far older some of these stars will have earth-like planets some of these planets may have developed intelligent life some intelligent life may develop interstellar traver tra traver travel if a civilization began before ours it seems possible even probable that even at the speed of currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is, we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? I mean, that's probably for the best. Really great you decided to come on board. Got that Logitech gamepad going there. Like old times. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be the wet bandit. Oh. Okay. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Anything on the compi? We got some email. There we go. Ah, it was F was F all along. All right, uh, congrats and welcome. Glad to hear that you'll be coming aboard soon. Uh, your first official work day is Monday, March 15th, but we have a series of training exercises. We run all new employees. Uh, we run with all new employees. Uh, just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight and I will see you soon. Okay, well. Okay, hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need uh, for your first day, uniform, transcribe, and a neuro mod. All the neuro mod right away, as we will be running some tests first thing in the morning. Follow the instructions, and I'll be in touch. Uh, ready? Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. But they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time uh, she uh, she said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says okay actually she said the opposite I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me so there you go that's mom 
anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. Probably call you in the morning uh, to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon. Okay. <laughs> I like being able to throw shit. Shoe. Uh, chair. Damn it. Lamp. Oop. What else do we got here? Encyclopedia, got some bill, oh, coffee cup. Well, there goes that. Uh, I mean, things that I won't need now, I'll tell you that much. Alright, let's do this thing. Oh, ooh, that's a tasty concoction that I came up with. All right. Morning, Mr. Yu. Morning. Uh, Lost Medic, welcome. Remember, Alex knows what's best for you. Yes, Alex knows what's best. I don't know shit. <laughs> Please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transstar facility. Ah, the Bethesda the Bethesda Softworks Presents building, yes. Clear skies all the way. That's a nice view on the bay there. Yes, the Arcane Studios production bridge. Yeah. Onto the prey building. So, Lost Medic, are you a uh, are you a prey fan? Because this is my first time playing this game. Well, we are, not first time. I played a little bit on Xbox and just was terrible at aiming with controller, so switched over to PC. Hello, Doctor Yu. I'm a Civil Four Nine Five Science Class Operator. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth Moon system. Oh, yes, the Earth Moon Welcome, system. Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Hell yeah. Let's do it. I do enjoy the game. Okay. So I was told to play this game because I'm a big fan of the System Shock series. How, uh, how accurate is that? Morgan, finally. What's up? Uh, hey. Ah. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. Very? Okay. Cool, eye? cool, cool. Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. 
We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. All righty, Rooney. How far did you get on Xbox? Not very. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. I completed training, I'll say that, but not much further than that. I encountered the first few enemies and just could not do it because controller aiming and me do not get along. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Wonderful. That's... Uh, you're absolutely fine. <laughs> uh, <let's laughs> absolutely fine. Yeah, all right. Okay, Morgan, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Oh, shit. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Uh. <laughs> Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. <laughs> hmm. Uh... Any synaptic register at all? <laughs> no? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. Am I, though? Am I really? <laughs> uh, did you get your stun gun? I don't remember. I just remember encountering enemies and being just dog shit at it. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible. Without okay. Thinking. Just just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Whoa. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Okay. Planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new. Ah. Huh. Good. <laughs> Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Uh, you've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Uh, yeah, afraid. Yeah, mm, sure. That's heavy stuff. Runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. Sure. Good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an uh, enormously fat man pushing him onto the track and stop the train. Sure. Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You can stop the train by jumping onto the track, uh, but you would die. Sure, jump on the tracks. Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, where's my coffee? That's it.
empty. Yep. I saw that. I saw that. Oh. Oh. Who won't actually appreciate the coffee? It's bad for him. See, the coffee was bad for him. <laughs> Be sedated. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March fifteenth, twenty thirty two. Just like my old. But I remember this scene. It's all a lie. Yeah, fucking take that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Shoo! Oh. Uh, I will be taking that wrench. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is Jay. You worry. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Oh, there we go. Uh, sure. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. I'm gonna wander around. Probably isn't the way I'm supposed to be going. But that's half the fun. Oh! Get your ass back here. I'm gonna beat you. Marking the entire skew as defective. Investigate with fabrication mark. Okay. Uh, no password. Okay. Uh, you're totally dreaming. None of this is real. Uh, make sure to set this for nightmare mode, because if, uh, if it's not nightmare, it's story mode. Yeah, I chose easy mode. Oh, hey, now. Uh, yeah. I chose easy mode because I am Babby Gamer. I'll take plastic tubing. I'm big Babby Gamer, so I choose the easiest of modes. There we go. Alright. All right. Oh, 
All of chat. <laughs> Probably not gonna work. Right? It's, yeah, it's not gonna work. Oh, hey. Give me that. Oh. Oh, it's a mimic. I don't like that. Everyone calls them mimics. Yep. Be careful what you pick up. Oh, what do you got? That's another wrench. I mean, hell, I don't know what I'm doing. But that's half the fun! That's why we... Why we explore. It's why we just press buttons in games like this. Oh yeah, there we go. Whoa! Nah, that's a shame. Go. Oh! oh. Multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. What do you got? Banana peel, spare parts. None of this will probably help me, but you know. Email, what do we got here? Uh. Uh, I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. Station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, uh, Miss Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any, qu any requests you have. Uh, I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Uh, thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Urgent! And I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get the trauma center and grab the key car, uh, or get to the trauma center. Grab the key card to his cabin off his body. Sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. Okay, well. Let's do it to it, then. I'm not missing... Okay. Oh! Play your way. Uh, experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. Search for the key card. Okay. Oh, whoa. Bah! Uh. I think I got him. All right. Oh, you. Did I hear another one?
Don't think I don't know what's going down. What's going down? Yep, there it is. Don't think I don't know what's going down out here. I know exactly what's going on. Uh, oh, yeah. Foot. Oops, Mobby. All right, get. You're over here somewhere. Don't act like you ain't. Organ, shotgun, I'll take shotgun shells. I don't know what the organ will do. If it's like, if it's anything like System Shock 2, it'll help me defeat them bad guys. Uh, anyways. Oh. There we go, key card. Hey! Yay, we got happy music. Alright. Alright. Oh, got an email. Uh... Stuff about neuromods. There we go. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Okay, bye. Second floor. Okay. Cool. Cool. Shotgun shells. Nine millimeter bullets. Med kit. Glue canister. Sure. I'll take more glue canister. I'll take glue cannon. Oh, hey. Uh, glue cannon, uh, disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Uh, glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. And hardened glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Okay, hell yeah. Okay, I see. There, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. I want to beat some shit. But I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. Come get it, bitch. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Here we go. Suck it down. <laughs> uh. Even though I should have been using the glue cannon, but I'm like, you know what? Oh, the neuromods. Yes, that's right. The thing the dude was talking to me about. There are parts. Uh... Gimme, gimme. Uh, the Neuromod is a revolutionary Transstar invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press N to open your transcribe. Okay. Whoop. Here we go. What do we got here? Position. Uh, your knowledge of medical practice increases the, inf the effectiveness of med kits to 150%. Bypass level one security measures on computers and robotic systems. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we have more. Uh, let's see. 
Lift heavy objects with ease and throw objects further. Thrown objects will damage enemies. That's cool. Fix broken grav shafts, uh, fabricators, and recyclers with spare parts. If survival mode is enabled, uh, which ignore that because survival mode isn't enabled. Uh, conditioning. Increase your health to 115 and your stamina to 105. Run, sneak, climb, and sprint 5% faster. Okay. So leverage sounds pretty cool. But hacking and physician. I think hacking and physician are the ones I want to go with. Uh, because... I mean, that's kind of typically what I go with, you know? When it comes to, like, system shock and stuff like that, I typically go ha uh, hacking. But I always like physician stuff. I like when I can get a boost med kits. Uh, but I'm going to go hacking on this one. I'm going to go hacking. Boop. Yes. Inject right into my eyeballs. Okay. Fantastic. Improvisation has always been your strength. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Yes, please. Fucking bring it, you little shit. What do you have? Hold on, you've got stuff. Plant clippings, transcribe, sure. Oh, all those. Robert? Alice, thank God, no one else is- Where are you? Hiding, I'm in the conference room, I, I can't- Jesus, you're still in the lab? I can't get out, there's- What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators, someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. And that someone killed him. Probably. Okay. Okay. Oh. I'll take that to you. There we go. Get fucked. Alright. Oakley Doakley. Favorites wheel. That's a mouse wheel. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go to lobby. I gotta say, guys, cognac mixed with spice pear liqueur, amazing. You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? Sure. Let me just loot this dude. And, okay. I'm not gonna lie, this makes me yearn for the System Shock remake. I need to play that game again. Especially now that the update has come out. Oh! I heard noises. I think it was just the up the Oh That's not good. That's not good. Careful. You need to get to your office. 
office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Uh, exploration tail. Uh, boop. Uh, Talos 1 is open for you to explore from the lobby. You can reach other parts of the space station via the bulkhead doors and lifts. You may return to the lobby and other areas you've discovered as often as you like to complete Ooh, optional objectives. Cool. Uh, oh, video from. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Good morning. More like, oh! Counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. <sighs> Bitch. I know the other one's in here. There you are, you... You fuck. Where did you go? There you go. Alright. I'm just trying to get to my dang-ass office. There we go. Grand Star Exhibit, eh? 19, 19, 19, 20, 23. Oh, let's take that Neuromod. What do we got here? Uh. Uh, let's see. Grab shit. There we go. Uh. You know, I did want to. Whoop. I like that's in security. Uh, I'm gonna go... Position. I kinda need it now, too. Inventory. Uh, where are my med kit? Well, let's not use a med kit yet. Let's see what I got here. Uh... Can all... Well, no. Let's... Wait. Oh, G is to drink. There we go. Do repair kits. And appeal. I mean, I should just drop that, to be honest. Um, used plastic tubing. Let's get rid of those. All right. Cool. All right. Used cigar. Let's go upstairs. Well, no, there's security. And security. Aha. I do not have a card for that. Let's keep on keeping on. I knew it was you. I knew it was you. That's too sample. Uh, um, it's like that's up one more floor. One more flight. Hearing mimic sounds. I don't like that one bit. Okay, we got a turret. See, uh, going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let them out to stretch his, le uh... 
Oh, eleven is like like a name. Okay, stretches legs. Uh, when you get up there, uh, the key code is four four six nine. Uh, not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible... To get a copy of his itinerary. I would love a chance to meet him before the neuromapping procedure if possible. Uh, Dr. Igve, I relayed your previous requests, uh, or I, yeah, I relayed your previous requests, and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. Uh, the schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Uh, Leitner's visit, uh, yeah, Igve showed up, quiet and polite. He shook Leitner's hand uh, like he was afraid of breaking him, uh, asked him to sign an album he brought. Uh, Leitner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. Uh, we tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. It's too bad, such a talent, uh, no wonder he wanted to get scanned. Uh, interesting. Okay, but I will take trauma center. Hey! Oh. I'm gonna take this. Uh... Whoops, didn't mean to take that. Well, pfft, turret's down, that's cool. What do we got here? Test subject. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, Sylvain, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that I know it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. Uh, Bellamy's move notice. Uh, please move these remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod Div as soon as feasible. Okay. Oh, neuroscience. Uh, the code to your office is... Zero, four, five, one. Zero, four, five, one. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I see we're doing the jokes. We're doing the looking glass jokes. Cena, hello. I'm, I'm doing all right. You know how I'm doing. Uh, zero. Oh, five, four, five. Oh. Okay, so I have to talk about this. I have to talk about this because I know this. I know the origin of this. So I know a lot of people mentioned that the, or the, the urban legend is that the 0451 code was the original, like, uh, door code for Looking Glass Studios which isn't entirely true. So it was, but it wasn't the door code until they changed offices. So the 451 code was set up in System Shock 1, which was a reference to Fahrenheit 451. And then after System Shock was released, uh, Looking Glass changed offices, and the secretary asked them, about what the code in System Shock was, and they said 451, so she made the door code 0451, and that's how that whole thing went on. It was just a long-running joke. It was, yeah, so, <laughs> interesting enough. Um, I still, I still want to play System Shock. 
I still want to play the System Shock remake on stream, maybe at least once, and then see how people see what people think of it, see gauge the interest and in all of that. Um, but uh, we got we got prey, we got the prey here. So uh, uh, love the trivia. Yeah, I'm glad you love the trivia. I love that trivia, but mostly just because I'm a total nerd for System Shock. Uh, and the System Shock remake and all that, I it's my favorite game. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Fabricator. You know what, I'm not going to touch anything until I... Do the the video. Uh, good morning, Morgan. I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe. Okay. Utilities. Watch me, Morgan. Okay. Okay. Oh. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Now, your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not gonna like what I have to say next. Oh! Oh, uh, looking glass server. Uh, all right. I thought I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight, please. You bitch. Anyways, I guess we'll read my emails. You made it. Okay. Mm. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Uh, so, Cena, I didn't ask. How are you doing? How is your How is your Saturday? I guess it's your Sunday now. Are you Are you double dipping? Are you watching the gals do their uh, Hunger Games finale? Uh, put it behind me, but there's no reason. Uh, uh, can't still be civil. You passed me in the hall today, and you looked through me. Uh, if you're angry at something I did, tell me, and we can talk about it. Uh, pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together. Mika. Okay. Do not disturb. Morgan, as requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite and crew quarters, and the supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they get to you all right, and if not, it'll get resolved. Uh, I'll get it resolved. Uh, like last week, if you, ooh, key, uh, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office. Okay. Weapon upgrade, hell yeah. Fabricator. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, okay. 
Yep, going to be watching the gals. Uh, I think I'm in the f uh, the final. Uh, will you be at the tea party tomorrow? I definitely will be at the tea party tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, I think I'm in the finale as well. So that's one that I may raid out to them, but I'm, but I'm, I may not stick around too long because I'm gonna ha I'm gonna want to watch it from the beginning. Uh, but yeah. Anyways. Oh. Else do we have organic material, synthetic, beep, bop, boop. Spare parts, corroded coil, circuit board, place items in bed. That's prob. Whoa! <laughs> um, transfer junk. Transfer junk. Transfer junk. Ah, and there's things that I can't transfer. Okay. Let's move things around here. Okay, cool. Okay. Ah, I got the stuffs. Oh. I didn't mean to open or bring out the glue kit. Ooh, tubing. Corroded coil. Burned circuit board. Braid wire. There's so much crap in my office. Get back here. There we go. Okay. Oh, you know what I should do? Uh... Oh. Let's use one. There we go. Also, maybe it won't last very long, so maybe Becca will play something else afterwards. Okay. Uh... What kind of series are you into? Do you think you'd be into The Magicians? Um... I think it's very cool. I don't... I haven't heard of The Magicians. What is that? I don't know. Yeah, series that I'd be into. You know, I've been meaning to watch Shogun. That's the series I've been meaning to watch. Because I've heard it's really good. Um, oh, do I have his... Damn it. Oh my god, Hop Loss. <laughs> Key code change. Uh, Jason uh, main screwed the keypad to my office. Uh, had them. Oh, it's another 0451. Okay, cool. We already know this. We know this. Oh, bitch! You thought you could escape me? Combat basics. What? Take advantage of your environment tools in combat. Uh. You don't have to fight en uh, every enemy head on. Uh, use alternate routes to sneak past tough enemies. Uh, yada, yada, yada. I know this. I'm purposefully kicking every mimic's ass that I can. No! Oh! Where's the other mimic? There he is. I saw that. Don't think. Don't. You son of a bitch. Don't think I didn't see that. Oh, I have a gun now. Hell yeah. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, you bitch. Get your ass back. I will blast you. Anyone else in here a mimic? Anyone else want to just get blasted? I'm gonna blast people. I'm gonna blast fools. Hey, get back here. Where'd you go? 
Damn it. Yeah, let's go to the hardware labs. Uh, it's about magic. I could say it's a bit like the mature version of Harry Potter, maybe, but it's a bit semi uh, semi fantasy and some action and stuff. Um, I would not be into it. I didn't get into Harry Potter at a young age just because I was too busy being into Star Wars, and so I was like reading Star Wars novels and playing the games and watching the movies constantly. So I so like a lot of the so like a lot of the Harry Potter stuff just completely passed me by. So like I wouldn't not be into it. Star Wars is so good. Darn Tootin. Alright. Oh. Oh, he's stronger than I thought. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, what do you have? Q-beam cells. The foyer. Alright, well. I'll take that plastic tubing. Drink that water. Hell yeah. Gotta stay hydrated, know what I'm saying? Even when there is a horrible event going on, you gotta stay hydrated. Okay. There's nothing to look at there. Oh, did he go back this way? Oh, he's going. Hold on. Let me reload. Oh, fuck. Let me get glue cannon. Right. Now get me that wrench. I got hurt. <laughs> I'm just being a idiot while I do this, and that's fine. And y'all got bullets. Science. Ooh. Locate Mary. Oh, there's like two others. Uh, location hardware labs. Crew quarters. Crew quarters. All right. Uh, let's go find this person. Thaddeus. Mary map security controls. Lock security locker. I also wanted to watch the Fallout series. Uh, I heard it's good. Yeah, I've heard it's really good, too. I'd be excited to watch that, too. I know Kyle McLaughlin's in it, and that's all I need to know. Silence pistol, uh, take ammo. How about that shit? Take them bullets. There we go. Go! Oh. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Oh! Uh, 
Uh, give me that Neuromod. Uh, let's see what we could do here. Engineer. Uh, leverage. Uh, neuromods. Uh, lift heavy objects with ease to throw them further. Fix broken grab shafts, fabricators, and recyclers with spare parts. If uh, don't need to do the survival mode shit. Yeah, let's increase that. Boom. There we go. Dang ass mimic. Braid wire. Weapons upgrade kit. Cool. Uh, hey. Uh, I've got, like, a bunch of these. Upgrade. That guy. Oh. Not like ah, there we go. Firepower upgrade. Hell yeah! It's a silenced pistol, so it's a piece of crap. Fires gunsmith one. Okay. Uh. Incapacitation rate. That. Uh, handling. Increased range. Yeah, this needs more range for sure. Boop. Hey. Alright. Yo, Thaddeus, damn. What a bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, don't look at me, buddy. Holy entrance. Bourbon! Yes. I'll take more bourbon. I can never have enough bourbon. It's me we're talking about. All right. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Uh Phantom. A lot of the station tech starts here. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Oh. Ah! Uh. left of him with the security roster. No matching key card A. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Uh, yes. Yeah, fuck you, Phantom. Now give me the goodies. Psy hypo, sure, why not? I'll take it. 
Braid wire, spare parts, I hypo, sure. Uh, okay, so we have to go here and there and. Damn it, fucking mimic ass mimic. Yo, Hunter, what's up? How you doing, Hunter? Oh, you bitch, that's it. I'm, I'm. Yeah, fucking take it, you little shit. Okay, you don't have anything for me. All right. All right. Uh, we have to do. Ah, uh, lock security locker area map. Also, yeah, download area map. Why have I not done that? Boop. Okay. Uh, machine shop. There's the Calvinos. Yay. Boop. My B. Got your little Caesars? Hell yeah, that's what's up. The hell was that? Oh, okay. He dead. Dr. Thorstein, where are you? Machine shop. I was just... I, I heard an explosion. Forget that. Grab whatever you can and get to my office. We're evacuating. What? What should I... Neuromods. Exotic material. Just hurry. Meet me in my office. Yes, sir. And bring a glue gun. Yeah, I don't think there's much left that I can grab. Much like System Shock, you see someone who's alive and they dead. Wow! Uh, yes. Oops, hold on. There we go. Oh, it's Clive Lawrence. It's THE Clive Lawrence. Go! Oh, okay, he dead, I think. I hope. Clive Lawrence. Yeah, I'll take the script. Clive Lawrence is on the, on the shelf right now. Take whatever's not nailed down. Uh, a bolt caster, you say? See how that does. Huntress bolt caster. Uh, Huntress foam darts, <laughs> which do zero damage. Also known for its ability to annoy coworkers, distract enemies, and remotely trigger buttons and screens. Okay. So we're not going to be doing that right now. All right. Oh, we got the recycle. We got the recycle bin. Uh, okay. Cycler. Yeah. And then we recycle. There we go. Hooray. Okay. Uh... see here. Oh! I missed the other wires here. Okay. Let's 
some of these guys in there. There we go. Ah! There we go. Alright. Fried hard drive, apparently. Frayed wire. Again, forgetting to just do this all at once. Foam darts. <laughs> Health is low. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, where is the... Restores health, restores health by one and cures fear. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, Neuromod. Ooh, I got a Neuromod. That's cool. Uh, ba, ba, ba. What do we got? Did I not pick up? I picked, yeah, I picked these guys up. There we go. Didn't do enough. Okay, Neuromod, we do need the one that kind of allows me to lift heavy stuff. Leverage. There we go. Okay. Because then I can go here and I can... Oop, there we go. There we go. Most powerful weapon in the game. Yeah. Oh. I saw that mimic. Okay, what the fuck? There we go. Don't think I didn't see that. Stank bitch. Oh, it's that guy. Fuck. Fucking come get it, bitch. There we go. Ah! I gotta... Doing the unwise thing. Yeah, shut up. I know what's going on. I know I'm being a dumbass. Just let me be dumb for a moment and... Okay. Here's the thing. Duh. Give me them Q-beam cells. I know I was being dumb. I don't need the game to tell me I was being dumb. Okay. Uh, move cargo. Ah! Oh! Well, that's... That's the way she goes. Oh! Bitch. Peter Coleman. Okay, well, that's busted, so who cares? Uh, let's see. Uh, do we have a weapon for the Q beams yet? Nah, no, we do not. Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. 
the Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Last thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Hold on, let's... Ah, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. That's what I wanted. Okay. Uh... It's that, and then... There's a suit repair kit. I've gotten multiple of those. It's not this guy. That's spare parts. That's suit repair kit. Oop. There we go. Okay. Oops, I accidentally used two. Well, that's the way she goes. Uh... Wasn't what I was looking to do. Uh, yeah. I need leverage three. Repair to Oh, bitch! Get your ass back here. Okay. Like that one bit. Yeah, well, I don't have that. Oh. Requesting new operator. Aha. Transcar Cola 14 engineer Please stand clear of aperture. Hello. Oh. Okay, so he's going to go do his thing. All right. Okay. So we still need to get in here. We need the key card. Uh, I'm sure, they told me what to do, but I don't know what to do. Um, That's not what I wanted. Uh... Is there a, uh... Objectives, duh. Uh, security station to discover Dr. Calvino's location. Uh, okay, so I need to find Dr. Calvino's location. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, ah. There we go. 
Oh, hey. But Dr. Calvino's up here, eh? Calvino somewhere up there. I need to figure out a way to get up there. I mean, we did see a dude just like fucking glue gun his way up somewhere. There we go. That's one way to do it. <laughs> I don't think I did it as uh, majestically as they wanted me to, but... Oh. That side of the lab was breached. Hard vacuum. No gravity. There's an exterior airlock in the machine shop you could use to reach him. You'll have to upgrade your suit with a propulsion system first. So I need to upgrade it with propulsion, eh? Oh, fuck. Alright, Phantom, let's rock and roll, bitch. There we go. Please keep an eye on Franklin. Uh, the man spends far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human here, I get it. But I'm worried he may try to use the propulsion system to access unauthorized areas. God damn it. There we go. Uh, hey, this is Gus down in Cargo Bay. Uh, found something curious in an outbound container on my shift. I think it's a fabricator plan for an autonomous turret. It was stashed with a bunch of old capacitor cells slated uh, for delivery to the Pythias facility. I'm going to say Pythias. Uh, it might have been an accident, but I don't know. Uh, one of the officers put it in a safe in the life support security station. If you want it back, talk to them. Uh, you're in charge. Okay. Dr. Calvino isn't feeling well enough to uh, present the latest looking glass tech to our visitors, so uh, I'll be away from the labs for an extended period. Uh, I've left everything in working order while I'm out, but just in case, I'm sending you the key code to my office. It's 7505. Okay. Cool. All right. I heard that. Oh, there he is. Ammo. Oh, 
Yo. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he admired you. Unfortunate. Huh? Face all of it. Oh, never mind. Ugh. Oof. Uh, sorry, I've been behind on chat. Uh, I want a gun like that IRL that shoots out Condon candy instead. That would be, yeah, that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, I just want to write you personally and thank you for the new, uh, reployer. I know some people have been on waiting lists to get one of these. And it was a pleasant surprise to find uh, a new one in my office this morning. It is this feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you uh, further. Let me get... Come on now. Uh, however, if you could spare one of your engineers for a bit, it would be great if they could swing by and show me what exactly it does. Uh, part requisition. Wanted to clear a Morgan request again. Morgan was down in hardware today, just standing there as if not sure where to go and when I offered to help Morgan asked for more operator parts I asked if the last ones we'd sent hadn't been sufficient and I got a blank look I mean no offense but Morgan's uh, get that out of my face uh, Morgan's requisitioned enough to repair any operator in the station five times over now and we have other operators that need maintenance Interesting. Morgan is a shady character. <laughs> oh, where did you go? I saw you. There you are. There you are. You're my only hope. I sent Larson to the demo theater to see if he can sneak a bottle of old Sardar. Join us? A demo delay. Hope. Just a uh, heads up that the Artax propulsion system demo have to be delayed. We're still working on a slight calibration issue in the machine shop. But it's nothing to worry about. Okay. We'll, we'll see about that. Braid wire. Gimme, gimme. It's the lobby. Okay. Oh, is this? That's right there. Okay. Okay. It's all coming together now. Not really, but... Ooh, a neuromod. Or a couple of neuromods, rather. I think I have like three now? How many do I have? Three! Haha! -ha. There we go.
got here? Uh, nothing there. Three materials expert. Packed calibration, reduced stamina, cost of wrench attacks. Uh, that would be kind of good, given how much I'm using it. Uh, combat focus. Enter a state of combat focus for 10 seconds, in which time slows around you, and actions cost 50% stamina. Uh, stealth. Enemies take longer to detect when you are sneaking or crawling. Okay. Mobility 1. Increased overall movement speed. Run, sneak, climb, and sprint. Uh, toughness. Increase your health to 150. Aren't I already at 150? Oh, wait. No, I'm at 115. Okay. Increase your health to 150. Uh, natural lifespan increased by 25 years. Okay. Increases your stamina to 125. I already did that one. Uh, hmm. What? What's happening? Hold on, what? Hold on a second. Hold on. I have, I have to alt-tab now. I missed things. Uh, just want to say that you're the human version of the smell of freshly baked bread in the morning. Uh, thank you. That's strangely accurate. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh my god, we've known each other for 13 years. Wow. Have we really known each other that long? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. All right. Uh, uh, it doubles the duration, well-fed bonus, a health gain by consuming food. Let's see. Maybe 14 years. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Okay. I feel like it's been, I honestly think it's, I don't think it's been, uh, I don't think it's been 13 or 14 years. I think it's been less than that. I think it might be like 12 or 11 years, maybe. Cause I graduated, I graduated in 2014 and I know we were, we were friends at that point from 2013 to 2014 for sure. Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe like. 11 maybe like 11 or 12 years or something like that i don't i don't think it's been longer than that maybe i don't know maybe maybe life has just kind of zoomed zoomed by too much uh yeah i mean maybe reducing the the stamina cost of wrench attacks given how much i'm using the wrench right now there we go. How about that shit? Started, uh, started talking to you before I saw Ramstein live, which was May 2011. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then it's just time has just gone by way too quickly. Okay. I'll take... Uh, and that's... Yes, that's yeah. I'd I'd say about thirteen years. But yeah, it's been a long time. Oh. E S plus X E. Oh, those are fucking elements, aren't they? I hate that. Does anyone have a periodic table around? Ooh, hey, I'll take that. Bitch. Curious if there's a periodic table around here. Andrew and I go back to... I think I was in 8th grade. We 
gotta get over there somehow. Oh! Well, never mind. Oh, hey. What if we go over here? EMP charge. Ooh. EMP charge emits a loud burst of electromagnetic energy. Highly effective against robots, turrets, and other electro... Yeah, okay, cool. We know what an EMP does. Great wire, plastic tubing. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I got to use the glue gun, I think. Oh, damn it. I was almost there. Shockingly. They they bring in this whole gun that's like... That, that just so many things are based around it. And I'm just like, nah. Damn it. There we go. Was the break area? Okay. one okay uh so now we're back in here ride hard drive Yeah, with a wrench, I mean, it goes, for me, as far back as System Shock 1 and System Shock 2. I never really played Bioshock. I'll take that. Okay. Someone left a clue about the propulsion system in here. Uh, here. Let's see. Go 
There is something in here that I'm missing. Still don't know that because it said it was like ES plus XE, which I don't know. Uh, hey, question. Well, that didn't work. ES plus XE. Right fucking here. I'm just an idiot. Uh, ES is... Night Hold on, let me... Or no, it would be in... Data. Notes. ES plus XE. Okay, so... ES is 90... XE, XE is Xenon, that's, what the fuck is that? 54? What's 90 plus 54? I'm going to use my phone calculator for that. Um, 90 plus 54, 144, okay. Yeah, sure. It's 0144, probably. What? What do you mean it's not that? That's exactly what the fuck it would be. Am I an idiot? Does... Oh, you know what? It's probably not adding. It's probably... It's, uh, 90, You sack of shit, I swear to God. All right, that's fit. God, I can't fucking read that. It's so, like, scrungly. It's 54. That's XE. Oh, it's 99. That's what it is. 99. Jesus. Tap dancing Christ. All right, we made it. Cycler charge. Cool. Oh, I don't have the fucking room for it. Whatever. Uh, there we go. Okay, so it wasn't literal. It was... Whatever. Um, but we got it. We, we done did it. Uh, let's... Can you do it for me? You gonna... Okay, it did it. Uh, I'm gonna end there tonight.